Here we have a SAT math question. Okay, let's go to the information. A rectangular prism has a height of 50 centimeters. The base of the prism is a square and the surface area of the prism is S centimeter square. If the prism is divided into two identical rectangular prisms by making a cut parallel to the square base, each resulting prism has a surface area of 31 over 56 S centimeter square. What is the side length in centimeter of each square base? Okay, so first let me draw a rectangular prism with square base. Okay, let me do it. Okay, here I have drawn a rectangular prism with square base. So and also I assume the length of each square of the base, uh, the square base is uh, x centimeters. So this is x and this is x and here we have x. Okay, and also the height of the prism is given that is 50 centimeters. So the height of the prism over here is uh, 50 centimeters. And uh, so here we have x, here uh, we have x. Okay, here we have x. Okay, now uh, let's use the other information. Uh, so there is uh, the surface area of the prism is, is S centimeter square. Surface area means uh, the total surface area of the prism. So to, to, to get the total surface area or surface area of the prism, what I need to do is I have to add uh, the areas of all the faces. Okay, here uh, all the faces means we have two bases and four side walls. So like uh, each base uh, is a square with a side length things. Actually, we have to find the value of x according to the question, because the question is asking us to find the side length of each square base. So I assumed that the length of uh, uh, each side of the square base is x. Already we know the formula to find area of a square, that is we have to multiply side by side. So here, uh, so the length of each side of the square base over here is x. So to get the area of the square base, we have to multiply this side by side, that is x times x is x square. So the area of the square base over here is x square. And the area of the base at the top also x squared because it also has the same side length x. Okay, now I got the area of the two square bases. One is at the bottom and the other one is at the top. So to get the total area of the two bases, I have to add this x squared and x squared. Then I'm getting 2x squared. So this 2x squared uh, gives the area of the two bases, one at the bottom and the other one at the top. Now I have to get the uh, areas of the four side walls and all the side walls are identical rectangles. Okay, so once I get the area of uh, one rectangle, it can be multiplied by four to get the uh, total area of all four side walls. Okay, now uh, to get the area of the rectangle, uh, already I know the formula that is length times width. So here, uh, what is the length? That's 50 and it can be considered with, with this just x. So to get uh, the area of this rectangle, we have to multiply. So the length and width, so 50 times x is 50x. The area of one side wall is uh, 50x. As I said already, all the four side walls are identical rectangles. So if uh, the area of one side wall is uh, 50x, to get the area, total area of all the four side walls, we have to multiply uh, four times the area of one side wall, that is 50x. So this gives a, a total surface area or surface area of the prism. So that is given in the question S. So it can be equated to S. So then S equals to 2x square positive 4 times 50x is 200x. Now I got the surface area of the prism S that is equal to 2x square positive 200x. Okay, now I'm going to use a second information that is uh, this uh, prism is divided into two identical rectangular prism by making a cut parallel to the square base. Okay, now uh, let me uh, divide this prism into two uh, identical rectangular prism by ma making a cut parallel to the square base. Okay, let me do it just a moment. Okay, now I'm going to draw over here. Okay, now I have divided the given uh, rectangular prism into two identical rectangular prism by making a cut uh, parallel to the uh, square base. So identical rectangular prism means uh, the rectangle by uh, cutting by dividing uh, the given rectangular prism into two pieces. So the rectangular prism I got at the top over here, the prism I got at the bottom over here must be equal. That is the surface area of the prism at the top and the surface area of the, of the prism at the bottom must be equal because uh, they are identical rectangular prisms. Since we divide uh, the given rectangular prism into two equal parts, uh, so what is the height of the prism at the bottom? But top, it, it has to be 25 centimeter because the total height is 50. And uh, the, now the height of the prism at the top is 25 centimeter. And the height of the prism at the bottom is also 25 centimeter. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of the prism uh, at the bottom. So what do we have to do? The same logic again. That is, uh, we have to add uh, the areas of all the faces to get the surface area. And we know that uh, this is a uh, like a square parallel to the square base. So it, it must have the length, side length x. Okay, now uh, to get the area of the base over here, it's x square. And what is the area of this square base? This is also x square. 
and now we have to get the areas of four uh, sidewalls and all the sidewalls over here are identical rectangles okay once i get the area of one rectangle it can be multiplied by four uh, to get the uh, areas of all uh, four sidewalls and here uh, the length of the rectangle is 25 the width of the rectangle is x so the length of uh, i mean sorry the area of each rectangle is 25x okay so let me get the area of the uh, a smaller prism smaller rectangular prism that is uh, like um, 2x square so this is uh, uh, some of the areas of two bases positive 4 times uh, the area of one rectangle which is uh, 25x so this is the area of one prism uh, the smaller prism according to the question it is it has to be equal to 31 over 56s let me write it over here so because the question clearly says uh, each resulting prism has a surface area of 31 over 56 so since i cut the i mean i divide the given rectangle prism into two identical rectangle prism this is one of the resulting uh, prism it has an area of 31 over 56 as centimeter square i already got the area okay now let's simplify this one 2x square positive 4 times 25x is uh, 100x equals to 31 over 56 and for this as uh, we know the stuff that is 2x square plus 200x that we can plug in for this s over here so then i'm getting uh, 2x square uh, positive 200x okay now what i'm going to do is uh, i have to solve for x uh, in this equation that's uh, length of each side of the square base that is what we have to find according to the question okay now uh, so to solve this equation first i'm going to get rid of this 56 for that i have to multiply both sides of this equation by 56 Okay, let me multiply both sides of this equation by 56. Then I'm getting 56 times uh, 2x square positive uh, 100x equals to 56 times uh, 31 over uh, 56 times uh, 2x square positive 200x. So here this 56, 56 will cancel out. Okay, let me erase the stuff over here so that I'll have space to do the further work. This is the resulting equation in our previous work. Uh, now we have to solve for x in this equation. Okay, first let me distribute this 56 to 2x squared and 100x. When I do so, I'm getting 112x squared positive uh, 5600x. On the right side also, I'm going to distribute 31 to this 2x squared and 200x. And when I do so, I'm getting 62x squared uh, positive 6200x. Okay, now uh, we have a quadratic equation. Uh, to solve this quadratic equation, we have to get the quadratic equation in standard form. That is uh, in the form of ax squared positive bx positive c equals to zero. So getting a quadratic equation in standard form means we have to get everything on the left side and the right side has to be zero. Okay, now to make the right side of the quadratic equation zero, I have to get rid of both the terms. For that, I subtract 62x squared from both sides. And also I subtract uh, 6200x from both sides. Let me finish. Uh, writing it so when i do so this positive value negative value will cancel the same thing over here so when i combine now 1 and 12 x square and negative 62 x square i'm getting 50 x square and when i combine this positive 5600 x and negative 6200 x i am getting negative 600 x on the right side we get zero okay now what is the greatest common divisor for this 50 x square and 600 x so that's 50x that can be factored out so since 50x is the greatest common divisor of these two terms we can factor 50x out if i factor 50x out so then i'm getting just x left in the first term negative uh, 12 left in the second term and also we can verify our factoring so when i distribute this 50x to x i'm getting 50x square when i distribute this 50x to negative 12 i'm getting negative 600x okay now i have factored this one completely now uh, the, pro the product of the two quantities equals to zero. Whenever the product of two quantities equals to zero, either the first quantity has to be zero or the second quantity has to be zero. So either 50x equals to zero or x negative 12 equals to zero. To solve for x in this equation, what I need to do is I have to divide uh, both sides by 50. Okay, so here 50, 50 will cancel. I'm getting x equals to, when you divide zero by 50, I'm getting zero. I got uh, one of the values of x that is zero. Okay, now let's solve for x in this equation. So to solve for x in this equation, I have to get rid of this negative 12. For that, I have to add 12 to both sides. So when I add 12 to both sides, is negative 12, positive 12 will cancel. I'm getting x equals to 12. Okay, so when I solve the equation, I'm getting two values for x. One is x equals to zero, and the other one is x equals to 12. 
actually x refers to uh, the psi length of the square base the psi length of the square base cannot be zero so if the psi length of the square base is zero then there cannot be uh, the square base so we can reject the value zero for x the second value of x is uh, 12 uh, the four uh, the psi length of each square base is uh, 12 centimeter so we find 12 in option c so the correct answer choice for this question is option c